Hello citizens, this is Councillor Giancarlo Carra, this is Ward 9 TV, and today's episode is about an extremely important program called the Low Income Transit Fair, which was really a nation-leading program that we put in place uh, with one-time money that the City of Calgary put in and uh, a commitment from the provincial government at the time to put in some of the money and review how the program went and then sort of take the full responsibility for paying for it themselves. That was the previous government. So here's the story and here are the numbers. On October 23rd, Transportation and Transit is receiving a pro, uh, at the at Transportation and Transit Committee of Council is receiving a report on the future of this program. Uh, there are three options in front of us and we encourage the public to come and speak uh, in support of this amazing program. But this is really resting on, on the province's shoulders. And the province on October 24th, the day after that, is going to reveal its budget. And we're all going to learn whether there's any funding to continue this program or not. And as citizens of Alberta, we have uh, the right and the responsibility to petition the government as to how we feel about that up until October 11th. So from now, you hearing this video, until October 11th, it's very important that you go online and you speak in favor of this incredible program. Why is it an incredible program? Where does it come from? Here's the story. Now, uh, there's basically in Canada a cutoff point between people who the government considers to be in poverty and people who are considered not in poverty. And right at that cutoff line, you get some very weird things where if you're right above the poverty line, like if you're making like, I don't know, like $18,000 a year versus someone who's making $16,000 a year, you can get, you can ask us, you used to be able to access a low income transit pass and you are actually in better financial shape uh, being below the cutoff line than above the cutoff line. And that's just not fair. And if you're right above the line, it just doesn't make sense. And so council uh, conceptualized the need for a sliding scale, the understanding that as you go deeper into poverty, you need a deeper subsidy. And even if you're above the line, you need somewhat of a subsidy. And this was the sliding scale program. And with the last provincial government, uh, we were able to convince them to work with us on a program to see how necessary it was to institute that. Now at the time, there was only enough money to go down as opposed to go up and we established a sliding scale from the poverty line downwards. And we did so with $11 million per year funding for a couple of years. And that was $6.5 million uh, from the city of Calgary and $4.5 million from the government. And this is the year where it's coming due. What we discovered was that it was way more used than we anticipated. We anticipated a certain buy-in there was way more buy-in from the citizens of Calgary. It turns out there's a lot more people who have given the option, will take transit and will you know, go to jobs and have access to the city. And it really was uh, you know, heartening that the program was there, but also amazing how, in, how necessary that program was. Now, we were making the argument to the previous government that, wow, this is a way more oversubscribed program this is something that's necessary. Keep in mind that running the business of transit is the city's responsibility. Supporting low-income Albertans with programs like this is the province's responsibility. But the city of Calgary for several years put $6.5 million a year into it to get the program started. What we need to do is get the full $11 million a year from the province or uh, if they just renew their previous funding find $6.5 million in funding gap that the, that the city was making up, or with an $11 million funding gap, go back to the old program where you either got a low income pass at 50% the rate if you're below the cutoff, and who cares if that was even too expensive for you. So this is an important uh, decision or an important report coming before transportation transit, but it's completely dependent on uh, what the province does in terms of its responsibilities to helping low-income Albertans move around big expensive cities like Calgary. And as we know, this is a very necessary program, especially in this downturn. So please, by October 11th, at the link right here below me, uh, write in, 
go to that link and, and share your opinions on this necessary program with, with the government. And hopefully in the uh, October 24 budget, despite cutbacks, this is something that they understand is an essential service. With that, Councillor Giancarlo Carras signing off.